Hello, and welcome to Chemistry 1020, General Chemistry 2 here at Prince George's Community College. The first day of class, and I wanted to welcome you to the class and record a welcome video telling you a little bit about the class. Uh, I'm in the Canvas site for the class right now, and uh, you can see that the landing page or where you first log in has uh, the name of the course, uh, that this is an online asynchronous class, it has links to my office hours, and uh, I will uh, be available at all of my office hours on Zoom, even the in-person ones, uh, and I will do my best to do that, I should say. Uh, sometimes in-person things will uh, rule out, but I, I will do my best, and if I'm not there, please just email me or, um, anyway, I should be there. The required textbook is here. It's a link to a LibreText site, and uh, it's got all the information that we'll need. And um, then we can go from here to our modules page. And I'll show you what the modules page looks like as a student, because this is my view of it. This is the student view. And from that student view, you can see a canvas start here. You can see week zero, review of Chem 1010. If you uh, took Chem 1010 uh, a long time ago, or even if you would just like review, these are some problems, uh, some of which have uh, tutorial videos as well for you to practice. Uh, and these are materials that we will not be going over directly in this class. We may uh, touch on a little bit of review, but really not much. And I've hand chosen these topics from my Chem 1010 class so that you can see uh, what you need to know if you get stuck. Uh, so early in the semester is the best time to review them, uh, but a few, and I may refer you to them if you're struggling. Then you come down here, here's some basic information about the course, <clears throat> and then the syllabus, and finally, your week one materials. Uh, some of the weeks will have just a week one intro uh, that has some information for you to look at. Then the, so that's what's called a to-do. Then your first assignment will be a lecture outline one, kinetics one. When you open this page, you'll see that um, you're going to, well, it's actually in week one, uh, I'll fix this. So lecture outlines are the notes to complete while watching the lecture videos. Uh, you'll see down here at the bottom is the handout, and uh, a little farther up, you can see the videos and the lecture topics that take you through this. Uh, m hopefully, many of them will have the topics of each video uh, in the title. We'll see. Some of those are good. Some of those are not so good. Uh, and then you'll just watch these videos. So uh, reaction rates will open in a YouTube video. Uh, and You'll watch this, you'll take notes on them. You will notice that some of the videos have um, things that you have to fill out that I don't write down on the page. That is to encourage you and to really check that you're watching the videos um, and taking the notes. You're not just fast forwarding through them. Uh, you will find that watching the lecture videos will be very helpful for doing the homework. That's why I require you to do it. Uh, but you'll have all these videos, uh, and then you'll turn them in. Um, so you'll write on them. You can print them out and write on the pages themselves. You can use a tablet and use a stylus to write on the pages. If you don't do either of those, you just write on blank pieces of paper or lined pieces of paper. Um, you would want to write all the notes that I take. And you would just want to draw uh, sort of all the notes that are already on the page. And any notes that I say and write down myself need to be on the page, too. Um, and, well, and as I say that, you don't have to actually, if you do that, draw the explosion. Um, but a lot of the pictures you will have to draw. Like, you will have to draw this graph because this graph is used to solve the problem. Uh, and you'll see there's a lot of work on all these pages. That's the lecture outline. 
10 lecture outlines need to be submitted as a single PDF uh, using either Adobe Scan or Cam Scanner app. Please let me know if you have any questions about how to do that. Uh, I think up here, oh yeah, how to create a PDF and submit it for a homework question or a lecture outline as it is. Oh, I went by here. So the lec sorry, the periodic table conversions and equations for exams. Let's go over that. So you'll see here the periodic table that you will be given on all your exams. So please uh, print it out, make sure you have access to it, and make sure you're familiar with it because you will have access to it on the exam. Uh, and then conversions and equations. These are the conversions and equation sheets you'll have on the exam. Um, let's see, so you'll have a page here. You have thermodynamics kinetics is our first topic. So you'll have all these equations uh, and you'll see that I've broken them down by subject and some other information here as well. Uh, these are the pages you will have as part of your exam, your midterms and your finals. So please just get used to using them and what information is on them and what information is not because you have to memorize some things as well. Uh, nomenclature, we don't really do nomenclature in this class. I'll probably remove that. Um, and this is 1020, so some of these are artifacts of the fact that some of these materials uh, are also used in Chem 2000, but I apologize and I will fix that as soon as I can. All right, homework, homework, homework. You can see that for homework 01-01, it's about calculating the rate of reaction. It requires a number or a numerical answer. It has a tutorial, and this asterisk means that you have to show your work and turned it in for homework 01 PDF of your work. So if I go to that, it says homework 0101 is what you need to upload a PDF of your work for the following asterisk problem. And this is worth five possible points. By the way. A lot of these are worth one point or half point. So you're going to do this problem. You're going to type the answer in. You get a right, done. You get it wrong, you have four attempts to get one of them correct. You only ever need to get one of them correct for each of these. Um, you can see that number homework 01-02 is a Y initial rights essay type question with a tutorial. Then we have a multiple choice with an asterisk, which means you have to turn in the work, but no tutorial. Bunch of tutorial ones for this, so that's good news. Uh, and that's the material for week number one. Uh, you have lecture outline, which is a it's replacing your lecture, which is three hours per week. And I have homework. Homework should take you between three and six hours a week. Um, and you should have four attempts for all of these. Oh, here's a fill. Fill is file upload. So you're going to have to plot. You're going to have to do some plots for this one. And this is actually very similar to homework 01-09, and uh, you do have to upload all your graphs, and you will be making graphs. Let's see, four attempts, two points, one question, and I should say that uh, most, if not all, of these questions are pool-based, meaning you and your classmates will have similar questions, but not the same. Now, uh, how do you do homework in this class? that is not copying and not cheating. Please do work together. I encourage that. Please do not copy. And that goes for copying from classmates. That goes from copying from the internet. If I can find an exact copy of what you've done or a very, very similar copy, uh, you will get zero credit. For uh, if you copy, let's say, um, numerical answer, you have to turn in your work for 01-08, and your problem, let's say, you find your uh, that problem on Chegg.com. There may be, I don't know. Uh, so if you find a problem there, or Socratic, or um, Course Hero, or some of one of the other ones, uh, feel free to look at it. Change the numbers. Change everything. Change the how many sig figs you care. Change uh, the layout. 
the worst thing you can do is copy something from a website and not understand it. Because that's when you copy an exact format. That's when you don't at least do the math. Um, and that's when you turn a nine into a G or a G into a nine. And those are dead giveaways for copying. I say this because I encourage you to use Khan Academy. I encourage you to use Chegg, right? Um, if you find your problem on Chegg, think about it, put it in your own words. I should not be able to recognize it from wherever you got it, whether it's any of these websites, your classmates, wherever. You will not get caught cheating if you put everything you do into your own words. That's what I ask. And that's really what I require. I will say this too, if you're caught cheating uh, on anything in this class, you can certainly not ask me for a letter of recommendation at any point in the future if you were thinking you might want one. So please do your own work. Please, please look at, so talk amongst your classmates. Please work together. Please form study groups. You can even get extra credit, extra, extra credit if you form a study group, please see the syllabus for details about that. Um, but then do your own work. Think about it in your own way. You're not going to get through this class with over 50% of the class being on exam points that way, that is, if you don't learn the material. So plan on doing that. And with that, if you do the work and you learn the material, I strongly believe that everybody can get an A in this class. And the only thing that stops many of my students, and I realize this happens, is, well, I can stop sharing, is you, you have other responsibilities, right? You're working, you're taking care of your family, you're um, taking other classes. You, it takes you longer than most students. Any of these things, that's fine. You know, so I, I understand you may not do as well as you would like. Uh, however, do your own work. Don't get caught cheating. I will turn you in to the campus discipline officer um, for cheating. Uh, and I, I have done in the past and I will do it again. Uh, it, it is an unfair system if you break the rules. Um, but again, I strongly, oh, so I am more than happy to help you no matter where you are in this class. If you're going for a high A because you want to go to medical school and you want to, you know that this material is on the medical school exam, some of it is, um, or you are trying to just get a C because you work full time, you, um, you, and you take care of your children, right? A lot of people have children, a lot of students have children, um, or whatever. If you want to get a C in this class and you're just hoping to get through it, come to office hours, get any help you can. I will totally help you. You want to get an A, you have questions that go well beyond the scope of this class. I will do my best to answer them. We can work on them together and anywhere in between, right? Uh, this is a class that I hope meets you where you are and helps you get as much out of it as possible. I look forward to working with you. If you have any questions, please do come to office hours and uh, or write me an email. And uh, I guess this might be the last thing I'd say. If you write me an email and you do not hear from me in 24 hours, forward the email to me again. I will apologize in advance. I always mean to get to emails uh, all Monday through Friday and sometimes on weekends. On weekends, I need 48 hours uh, to reply. And then just send it to me again, and I will uh, always uh, I will apologize, and I will always do my best to get you the answer that you need, the help that you need. Welcome to class, and uh, work hard, work smart, and we'll get through this together.